You want some as well? No, sorry, you can't have it. Mm. Defeat the mountains with Skittles. Yeah. Hola mi gente, ¿cómo estás? Today we are in Soray Pampa with this magnificent view. Over there is a glacier of Salcantine. And you might be guessing what are we doing here? So I'm doing the most famous, most popular tourist attraction here in Peru that's called Salcantine Trek. And during this trek, it's a four day trek to Machu Picchu. So basically, for four days we're gonna be walking and at the end we're gonna see Machu Picchu so I already walked full day so from 7 a.m. in the morning to 4 a.m. in the morning 4 a.m. p.m. I started walking it was a gruesome day I walked around 70 kilometers and it was all the way up about a kilometer uh, way up so uh, I'm, I'm now super tired I found uh, the best spot to set up my tent uh, we have some shit as here as well, but that's good. It keeps it will keep us warm during the night uh, So yeah, uh, I'm do doing this trek With the tent and with all the food. So basically I'm trying to challenge myself Like I that I wouldn't need to contact the other world. I could have stayed down there in these huts more comfortable more uh, I don't know more food. I don't know but uh, we have to challenge ourselves. So uh, let's look what do we have for food. I'm super hungry. <laughs> so for food we have... Uh, already ate a little bit. Let me get this here. So for food we have... Granola bars. Nine of these. I already ate two. No, one and a half. Peanut butter. Very dense food. Some biscuits. And 12 cans of tuna. So this is what I got for four days. I'm not sure if I'm gonna survive, but uh, yeah, we'll see. Uh, the only thing that I'm gonna access the outer world is water, because I don't have a bottle that filters itself, so I have to buy water. Uh, yeah, if I had, I could go to that river and fill it up. But yeah, let's try to cook some food, guys. Uh, and so you know guys, for dinner we're having roasted tuna, it's a trick that Itu showed us when we were having our journey from the Amazon. And yeah, I can only do this inside because the wind is too strong, so I'm not sure if, uh, if that's fine. That looks like trouble, uh, but uh, we'll see. As you can see the flavor, the color intensifies, you can even see it bubbling. So what happens when you put the toilet paper and burn it, it creates like a oil candle and uh, it's roast itself in the can and it intensifies and um, uh, brings up the flavor even more so it becomes really delicious and also you have a um, hot food without cooking so that's very amazing let's try this roasted one mm. look mm. it's super super delicious you you wouldn't even believe it how delicious this is. Mm. Good morning guys, it's the second day of our hike. I packed everything up. Yeah, I slept really good actually. It wasn't uh, that cold. The sleeping bag is really good. Uh, the comfort level is to minus 5 degrees Celsius. Yeah, but when I was sleeping I heard a lot of horses <laughs> going around me so I was a little bit scared that like, please don't step on my fucking tent and don't crash my head. But yeah, now we're going to that village to get some water. Uh, then I'm gonna leave my bags and I'm gonna hike, hike up there. It's a beautiful laguna and uh, I cannot miss it because I'm, I'm here already. And yeah, we decided if I missed it. Uh, I should have seen it yesterday because that's how uh, it's planned. But as I'm really free with the bags and tents, I can do uh, like however I want. So this is, yeah, this is my setup. Not the most comfortable hiking, but um, Wow. Holy shit. Uh, 
have my breakfast here and then we're gonna set off down to that glacier to the mountain of Salkantine Guys, fuck this, I'm not sure if I'm gonna make it. Sometimes I think, why the, the fuck did I even challenge myself and bring all this stuff? Because it's 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 super hard to carry all of this, like a tent, a sleeping bag and all the food that I have. But yeah, uh, good for us, we have a secret weapon. A secret weapon that's called coca, coca leaves, guys. Uh, Incas used to eat this and hike the mountains without eating for days. So, uh... Maybe it does give some superpowers, some uh, cocaine superpowers, as you know. <sighs> Let's get some and continue the hike. You want some as well? No, sorry, you can't have it. Mm. The next hardest part is to go up there. Really not looking forward to it. Mm -mm. Oh guys, an avalanche, a fucking avalanche! Oh my fucking god. It just happened in front of my eyes, just that one. Holy shit, it's probably not visible on the camera, but holy shit. Wow, first time an first time I've seen an avalanche. Pretty cool. Whew. Well, guys, I just did the Seven Snake Trail. Why is it called the Seven Snake? Because you're starting up there and you're going up to the mountain like a snake, as you see. And there's like seven, seven uh, crosses that you can make. That's why it's called the Seven Snake. I don't know. Maps that me showed me. Yeah, and for that, I'm gonna reward myself this beautiful view and uh, something else, guys. You have never seen it before. <sighs> guys, this is what I call granola peanut butter. <laughs> oh. Oh. For reaching the top, we're rewarding ourselves with skills. Skills. Defeat the mountains with skittles. Yeah. 21st century coca. Inca. You should learn from this. This was the highlight of the trek. Uh, well, of course, besides Machu Picchu, but uh, yeah, this is different. This is uh, nature made, this is uh, rock structures. <laughs> Guys, so I found out some friends, not this, but a Polish guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, nice to meet you. So we walked all the way down from the top of the mountains. It was like about an hour and a half, right? Yeah. Something like that. Now we're going to another town for three hours, but uh, we're gonna walk through the night, so I'm not sure how we're gonna make it, but uh, <laughs> we'll see. So yeah, guys, uh, let's, meet, let's meet at the bottom, man. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna make it, but he definitely is I'm not sure I might just get my tent somewhere in the middle because I'm really tired but we'll see guys the night is dark and full of terrors and for that we're gonna use our flashlights we still have about uh, an hour to go yeah it's gonna be fun yeah. guys this is how we start our third day uh, walking on cliffs nice it's time to take a shower the water is not the hottest it's actually very cold, but yeah, it's not a problem for us, I guess. Uh, yeah, let's try. Ah.
Oh. Guys, for the soap we're using a 100% donkey milk. It's a very nature preservative. Cold, man. Holy shit. I was really stinky for the past two days because I didn't shower and all the hiking ferments the sweat really hard into your skin. <laughs> nice. Nice. <laughs> nice. Maybe. Yeah, about 20 Next centimeters. Thing. Think it's poisonous? I don't think so. Ooh, but I don't know. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we have made it. Our third day is complete. We have reached the uh, coffee plantations of the Incas, where Incas used to cultivate their uh, coffee and stuff. And we started walking through the. It's what's called the Inca Trail. So Incas apparently used to build the trails all, all, all around their empire and uh, what's funny that they made like trails they made like roads but they didn't have cars so that's uh, really funny we came to this camping site we've paid five soles to be able to camp here and yeah uh, we already did like 63 kilometers in these three days so that's that's my record I haven't trailed that much but uh, uh, Bernardo yeah is a monster he thinks this is easy he thinks this is easy and uh i think this is fucking torture this day wasn't that hard but the second day was was fucking no uh, yeah let's get the camp guys Woo. Free, he has mastered the technique of tuna can cooking. Guys, this is how we start our fourth day with a cup of uh, Incan coffee. Mm. Very good, and of course, a can of tuna. <laughs> what did you eat? You got breakfast, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. Eggs with with small pan. Uh. <laughs> tuna is better, guys. <laughs> when you know the trick, tuna is the best. Mm. This is coffee beans from here. This is a peeled one, I think. This is unpeeled. Then they fry them and then they make it. No, they just boil the water here. But yeah, the coffee is very good, actually. Very good. Cuyo, Cuyo. Guys, look, they have a Cuyo farm here. <laughs> and then they eat them all. <laughs> the fourth day, uh, we hiked up a lot, uh, around 600 meters to the mountain and now we're going down so it's gonna be easy way uh, down but yeah as you can see we started passing a lot of these Inca structures and this used to be a base camp for the Incas that used to go to Machu Picchu and trade all over the Inca Empire uh, I overheard it but of a tour guide <laughs> okay guys we finally made it the viewpoint that I promised uh, the great Machu Picchu guys as you can see uh, on the ridge probably not very good on the camera because of the sun but on the ridge is some buildings of the Machu Picchu uh, that's the big Machu Picchu mountain and that's the famous ridge uh, the pointy one uh, the one that everyone takes uh, pictures from the top up there so yeah uh, this might be the only time I see Machu Picchu so uh, let's enjoy it, uh, enjoy it while I can Yeah guys, so apparently you can take a train to Machu free Picchu from uh, Cusco, I think it costs about $80. Yeah, it's a really nice ride with beautiful views, but uh, yeah, not for me for this time, I guess, maybe next time. So yeah, for the past uh, hour or so, I've been walking through these 
rail tracks and it's about uh, two more hours to Machu Picchu entrance so yeah let's go I left my friend Bernardo uh, because he wanted to chill for an hour and I just wanted to uh, finish the trek and then chill <laughs> You might say, wow, Matt, where are you? Where is this beautiful place? This is Agua Caliente. It's basically the most touristy place you can find in Peru, apart from besides maybe like Cusco or something. Uh, so yeah, this is like 15 minutes walk away from Machu Picchu entrance, where I left my bags, my camping gear and everything. And now, uh, when I was up in the mountains, I said, this is the last time I might see Machu Picchu. Why? Because to get to Machu Picchu, you have to make a reservation and you have to make it two or three weeks in advance because there's so many people. I did the reservation, of course, but uh, what happened is that I didn't know that you have to pay three hours after you did your res reservations or it's canceled. I found it only when I, I was in the bus to uh, do the Salcon Pan trek. So yeah, now I'm going to, to the Agua Caliente, Plaza de Larmas, like the center of the city, to the ticket office of Machu Picchu. And I hope, I hope they will give me an entrance tomorrow because if not, um, I don't know. It's, it was a nice hike, yeah. The plan is to go and pretend that I don't know uh, that I had to pay like three hours in advance and they will say, no, we cannot let you in, then they will start crying. So guys, my crying didn't help, but they said that tomorrow 12 a.m. I should check the reservations again and I might find a place. I'm not sure. We'll we'll find out tomorrow. Guys. Guys, I present you the royal summer house for the Inca royalties, Machu Picchu.